Hey crafty cuties, I hope you guys are doing a lovely. Today we're gonna actually use some of our items that we can recycle and use again, and that is paint strips or paint swatch cards. And so if you have ever got these from like the paint shop, trying to match a color, um, you probably have some laying around. I actually got gifted some in a Happy Mail and I've actually got a ton a long time ago by calling and asking if um, any of the paint shops have some that have like expired or like outdated colors. And so you can do that as well. I did recently call and try to do that again and I didn't have any luck. So I'm just using what I have but we're gonna make these little collage strips or little collage squares and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with these as well but let's just get into the project and I'll explain my layering process and I'm trying to use up a bunch of um, scraps and whatnot in this um, project as well so I want to use some cheesecloth I always forget that word and so I'm gonna start by cutting up a few pieces but you can do the same idea if you have maybe some um, fabric. You only need a very small piece. So fabric pieces, or I have some lace here, so we can use some of that as well. I'm just going to, I don't want these pieces to fully cover my paint swatch, but um, just I want it to kind of be in the background a bit. And you can see there's different shapes and sizes that these come in as well. And so I grabbed a few different ones so that I can show you how I would make those work. And again, at the end, I'll show you like what I'm going to put them on as a final project. So I like to do this in assembly line style. That's how I like crafting. So I'm going to start by just popping a little piece of either fabric or cheesecloth on each little square. Now this one's big. So I might, um, I'll probably cut this into two different pieces, if that makes sense. So we'll just kind of layer it on as if it were two different squares. And I'm just pulling my cheesecloth apart. It's getting kind of messy, but the little pieces will fall off, so that's okay. Now for this one, I think I would probably cut them in the shape, um, you can either cut them you know, individually up to use, or you can use the whole strip. I mean, it's obviously up to you, but for me, I'll probably end up cutting by the color, if that makes sense. So there's a lot on here, or maybe actually every two. I think that would be better because they would be kind of small if I just did one, although we have one extra, so that's fine. We'll just put that up there. And then same with this, I'll just, um, I'll probably keep this one, one long little strip. So I'm just gonna place a bigger piece of the cheesecloth kind of like that. Okay, and we have a little extra, so we'll just pop it right there. Um, <clears throat> so I like to, like I said, I like to do either a fabric or cheesecloth or some kind of that material. Put one right here. Next, I like to do some type of a paper scrap. So I have just little scraps of, um, what kind of paper was this? I can't think of the word, but it doesn't matter. Um, and I have sewing pattern paper. This is great since it's somewhat see-through, but you can kind of still see the layers. I personally like that. And you can move things around, obviously, as you are layering up the pieces. I try to not put too much thought into this Part. Um, but if I see something that would look better one way than another, you know, I will mix it around then. Just like that. Yeah, I really like using the sewing paper a lot. We could even switch it around like that. It's really going to all be dependent on what you like and what is appealing to you and your eyes. Let's use some music paper. I sprayed some ink on that. So for this one, I'm just gonna go like that. Or that will just be one big piece, like I was saying. Um, whoops. And you can do as many as you want, but I just go ahead and do basically one piece of paper material. Usually I'll do two on that one. Okay. Um, I do sometimes like to add a little bit of this grid washi. I don't know why, I just like the look of grid or you could use um, 
graph paper as well if, if you also like that, if that makes sense. These ones will be a little bit bigger, so I'm just gonna place like a little piece. I'm not really, you can see, I'm just kind of placing it down. I'm not really thinking too much about where it's placed right now because I don't have these finalized quite yet, but just go like that. Okay, now next, what I like to do when I'm doing this kind of more quickly is I like to finish it off and you can, again, you can do as many layers as you want, but I find that two or three ends up being just fine for what I'm using it for. But I like to finish it off with kind of like a centerpiece. So it's usually going to be some kind of a floral sticker or um, we have butterflies. I have different uh, plants and some of these are stickers and some are not. So I'll just set it on there for now. Um, the other thing that I will like to do sometimes. So if you're trying to do this mostly out of only recycled pieces, then you could dig into a book. And for time's sake, I'm not going to do too much of that, but let's go ahead and find like one little flower to cut out here. I'm just gonna rip this page out to make it a little easier for cutting. Oh, I just got a ringing in my ear. Does it, does this ever happen to you guys? And it's like, I don't know, I don't like the feeling. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just gonna cut out one smaller flower. And I am trying to go kind of close. And I, I know that I'm a little out of frame, but I'm trying to bring this close to my face. So this would be a great way, if you wanted this project to be full of only recycled things, it easily could. And I think it would look gorgeous with little cutouts like that. But again, just for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna go ahead and more or less use up little um, ephemera pieces that I have. Um, also, I think like little stamps would look really pretty. That one's kind of big, but this one's obviously a little bit bigger, so that works. This one, since it's like pretty big, we'll go ahead and put a big postage stamp right there. Do I have everything? Okay, so now what I like to do, oops, we forgot one. Now what I like to do is finish it off, and this is really nice with the strips because I can take it to my sewing machine and completely just sew down. I usually do two strips. And then I can either cut these apart again or I could use it in one strip. I like that. But I wanted to just do this a little bit easier without um, a sewing machine for the video because sometimes I know people get intimidated and think they can only get the lasting result if they also use a sewing machine. So I'm just going to use my stapler, but also I was just realizing glue. You could use glue as you're going along and as you are la um, layering. But personally, I like to not finalize things till the end so like i would rather do that part right now so for this one i'm just going to add a few staples maybe just like on all four sides so that that um cheesecloth will make sure to be stay you know will stay where it's supposed to be okay and then again um maybe i'll end up adding a little bit more or keep it how it is. It really depends. I kind of just look at each one as I go. And right now I'm just going to cut up a little scrap of fabric that I just happen to have right here on my desk. Cause I feel like this one needs a little something extra and it could just be the way that I layered them, but it really just kind of depends. So again, if I were going to sew this, I would just go ahead and take it to my sewing machine and sew it up, but oh no. Or we can just staple it. And of course, since we have all these layers, you would want to staple it in quite a few spots. So I do like sewing for this project, but you kind of get the point there. So I'm not going to finalize these ones because I, I, in one video, I just want to show you what I would do with these. So I'm going to set these up here because I probably will sew these. But I think you can see that they also look really nice with the staples. Um, or glue, but I have, you know, one that's already ready here. So again, you can use this as a, like kind of a bookmark. You can use it as a full, um, little pocket in one of your journals. But what I've been doing is I'll cut these up 
into squares and it's just so convenient. It's kind of like a snippet roll idea, I feel like. You could just have these on hand. And then I have been making these vellum um, pockets for my Patreon members and I am finalizing it with this right here. And I actually am just going to glue it on or, um, or, or use double-sided tape, whoops. <laughs> and I'm just going to kind of, so I glued around three sides so that it would also be a little front pocket. And I just love how these end up looking and I think they're going to be really cute in a journal. So again, here's a couple that are done. Whoops. And you can see I put things in the little pockets, but you could put photos and journaling cards just like you would any journal. So this is my final piece. And again, these would probably go into a journal. So I can grab one and just show you what that would look like as well on a journal page. You could do them all different sizes and everything as well. So there we go. So yeah, if you just stuck that down in a journal, it's so cute. And I feel like these end up being simple, but also like just the perfect touch if you needed just a little something extra. And then the strips again, like these ones had little holes in them. And I think that that is so cool. And I think it would be really cool to put on a page and maybe you had like a little something peeking through that hole but you could also glue these down, just gluing on three sides or two sides, if that makes sense, and make it just a little corner tuck on your page. So I hope this inspires you to, you know, recycle the items that you have. And I'm sure, I know a lot of you do get these paint strips or paint swatch cards and not know exactly what to do. So I hope this gave you a good idea and I had so much fun hanging out with you guys. So I hope that you will subscribe and stick around and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.